Eduardo Bread Festival. This yeah. lighting wouldn't freaking work. One, two, three farms. Here we come. Yes, I'm so excited. I've been planning this since like last year. I was like, I have to go to the Sourdough Bread Festival. I don't. Oh, sourdough bread. I was gonna say, so I was good. like, I don't know, bro. Just something about that just sounds chill. So yes. we gotta take you guys along with us. And first, of course, we have to get some coffee. So yeah, that's where we're headed right now. Coffee. The festival is at 123 Farm in Cherry Valley, California. And it wasn't too far of a drive, but we did get to enjoy some of the pretty scenery. It was very overcast today and it rain pretty much the whole day but luckily nothing was really outside for this festival so it was not canceled or anything they have plenty of other festivals that they host at the farm they have a lavender festival a lavender nights festival a christmas event and the sourdough bread festival as well as a sheep shearing festival and I was super excited to have the chance to go. I got a flyer for this festival when I went to the Lavender Festival and I really, really wanted to be able to go. So I'm happy that I was able to make this a reality and I'm glad that I will be able to share this trip with you as well. I will be leaving the 123 Farm website linked below in the description if you guys would like to check them out and maybe see if you can attend one of their festivals. I definitely recommend it. Right now, we're just exploring what their shop has to offer. This is the main shop, but they also have an entire little row of little vendors that are so exciting and offer some amazing things as well. I was super, super excited to look around here. So we just took some time to look around and see what they had to offer. And we also tried out some amazing samples. They had a big selection of honey, oils, and vinegars that you could sample. And they also had the SCOBY for making kombucha. I didn't get it because I don't know what to do with it yet, but I do definitely want to learn. They actually offer a kombucha making workshop at the festival, but unfortunately we weren't able to go until the last weekend, so they weren't actually offering that course for the day that we went. But that's okay, and I'm sure that my time to learn will come. <laughs> Additional to the main store, they also have some vendor shops and they had such amazing and cute stuff. There was a shop that sold candles and natural body care stuff and soaps and everything smelled so amazing. They had samples out. There was a crystal shop so of course I took a couple home and this little shop was so cute i wish i had gotten more videos of it for you guys i definitely will have some up on my instagram if you guys would like to see that i will be linking that in the description box down below the menu was absolutely amazing everything was sourdough i wanted to try a bread bowl but i ended up deciding that i wanted to try the sourdough pizza instead and it was definitely worth it. I went ahead and had it with a lavender kombucha and it was the perfect combination. The kombucha tasted so, so fresh. Honestly, probably the best kombucha I have ever had. And it came in such a cute little bottle. How was it? How was the pizza?
we're searching for our workshop. We're doing a fermented vegetable workshop. Yes. We're looking Except for a white we're tent. Yeah, I'm like, we're laws. We have no clue where we'll we're going. We'll find it, though. We're, yeah, we're going back to the information desk. Because I was like, we got 15 minutes. Yeah. I'm excited, okay. though. We're going to get to take <laughs> home a little jar of fermented vegetables. It's going to be so cute. I'm so excited. I've, like, never done anything like that. So I like, know. We'll keep you guys updated. Keep right posting. We were going the right direction. But it's not in a white tent. Yeah, it's under a in, white a tent. Room, it's so in a room. So we would have been walking for days. Yes. <laughs> We're on the way now. Oh, really? I got on the plane and found it. I was like, oh, I could try every class, but let me start with one. We found the workshop. We did it. It's so show me. Are you ready? The view. Oh, that's pretty. About two minutes before. Okay, thank you. But next year, next year for sure. Oh, no. um, but, uh, you know, oh, we're going to taste it. Yeah. 
your veggies could be very uh, stale. And, um, you know, again, we're using beets, which is a very, like, liquidy kind of, you know, root vegetable. But if you're just making, like, sauerkraut, you know, just like a very basic sauerkraut, you know, the cabbages can be stale. And so it may take longer for you to produce crime. So you'll lose hope, because <laughs> it'll eventually come. <laughs> All right? Um, very nice. <laughs> All right, so let me see here. Do you guys know where probiotic bacteria come from? No? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like where, where do they come from? Like how do they just suddenly form in your... Is it like your fermentation? Sorry? It's like you ferment, right? Well, but I mean, think probiotics are trying to clear our system out of the Right, right. Um, now, when you're fermenting vegetables, it, so, well, I guess I kind of go into like what you um, described regarding the brine. Um, okay, so the reason why the brine is so important is because this salty liquid that's, that's formed uh, from the veggies, uh, eventually we need to submerge our vegetables completely underneath this brine because the salt, the salt level in this brine will protect and create this uh, safe environment for the probiotic bacteria to grow and thrive. And it'll keep all this nasty bacteria that's naturally just in the air um, away from your crop so that it, it won't affect it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a very like, strong protective barrier. She so said I have again, a good brine going. Yeah, that's what it actually helps. Yeah, I mean, I think you can have enough brine in there. And of course we had to do a little photo shoot. The weather was so perfect. It was rainy all day and I was absolutely loving it. Yeah. <laughs> the lighting ended up being perfect for photos. And honestly, it was a little bit chilly, but I was really enjoying it. It was super nice and refreshing to be able to be outside and enjoy the weather, enjoy the rain without it being too heavy it was definitely just a really light drizzle all day and i was super super grateful for that so this is just a little bit of footage from our little photo shoot that we did and if you are interested in how these turned out they will also be up on my instagram probably by the end of this week and like i said earlier in the video it will be linked down below in the description box with my other socials So this is a little haul of what I got at the festival. I got this blueberry lavender jam, which ended up being so amazing. And it was made with a pretty short list of ingredients. And I also got a little wooden scoop and I figured it would be great for scooping herbs, like for tea. I was super excited about it. I had to get some sourdough. There was only three of these baguettes left and that was all they had the rest of the day so I went ahead and got one of those baguettes to enjoy with my jam and I also got some little crystals at one of the vendor shops. I got a selenite, a mookite, and I can't remember what the third one was but it was some kind of jasper and I just enjoyed the rest of my kombucha in the car and we also decided to stop for some crepes because we were all craving a little sweet treat.
When I got home, I was definitely feeling a little hungry, so I went ahead and made myself a really simple meal. I put some spring mix in a bowl with some sliced up cucumbers, and then I also cut up a little bit of green onion, and I'm going to be making this frozen quinoa package that I got at Aldi's. And it looks super easy and pretty yummy, so I decided I wanted to try it, and it's definitely coming in handy tonight. So I went ahead and heated that up, and I'm just going to pour that over the top of the um, salad mixture with a little bit of feta cheese on top, as well as some oil and vinegar. And this turned out to be super delicious, and I enjoyed it with a little bit of my baguette, which I toasted and topped off with the new jam that I got and it was such a satisfying meal and such a satisfying end to the day. That is about all that I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this little day in my life with me and I hope that you all have a beautiful, productive day. I will be leaving all of my socials linked down below if you would like to check out any of my other content. I will be sharing a little bit more about the festival on Instagram. And other than that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!